Hi, everyone. I'm going to start this interaction like most by introducing myself. So my name is Rachel Minch. I am a voice biometric and fraud prevention specialist at Nuance Microsoft. And if we think about it, really most interactions start this way with any brand or any company, right? We make an identity claim. I'm Rachel. This is my username. This is my account number, my frequent flyer number. That company then authenticates us to determine that Rachel really is Rachel. And reliable and secure authentication is super important in the realm of financial services where a lot of interactions are just inherently more risky. Nowadays, most companies are still using outdated methods to authenticate. So think pins, passwords, answers to knowledge-based questions. I'm sure all of us in this room can conjure up the image of the dreaded personal information exam that happens whenever I try to interact with my bank, the government, my doctor's office, right? The list goes on and on. They're not reliably authenticating that Rachel really is Rachel, just that the person on the other end of that interaction simply knows something. So last year, I got up on this stage and I demoed how Nuance Gatekeeper has been helping customers for over 20 years make life easier for our customers and more difficult for fraudsters. So Nuance Gatekeeper is both an authentication and fraud prevention platform that will give you the ability to authenticate your customers and detect fraudsters based on their unique voice. And that's regardless of how they choose to interact with your brand. So think of all the ways that we interact with companies, whether I'm calling into a contact center to speak with an agent, I'm stuck in a self-service application like an IVR, or a digital interaction, like one that happens in a mobile app or on a website. What we're able to do is provide a unified view of all these authentication and fraud attempts across all these different channel entry points. And the goal of the platform Really simple. We want to transform that often painful experience into one that is fast, easy, and secure. So let's take a look. I'm going to place a call and authenticate with my voice. I'm just going to call into a contact center and speak with an agent, something that we've all likely done here. Hi, this is Rachel Minch. I have a question on my account regarding a duplicate charge. It looks like yesterday I might have been charged twice at a restaurant. All right, so less than six seconds, fast. Nothing specific for me to say, nothing for me to remember, easy. The agent doesn't have to do anything either in this scenario. Nothing complex for them to interpret. And then, most of all, every voice is unique. It's like a fingerprint, right? It can't be replicated, it can't be spoofed, secure. I'm going to pause there, because if you have read the news lately, if you have watched the news, you will say, Rachel, voices absolutely can be spoofed. There have been many headlines on synthetic speech, AI-generated deepfakes, and it's led to a lot of questions of how can I increase security, improve the customer experience with voice authentication in light of all these recent advancements in synthetic speech? Do I have to go back to pins, passwords, the dreaded personal information exam? Luckily, the answer is no. You do not have to go back to these outdated methods. Right? They're going to have all the same problems that they've always had security-wise if not more amplified by recent advancements in synthetic speech. Let's think, fraudsters can now hide behind a voice that's not their own, so it's a lot harder for us to identify them. Moreover, in the context of social engineering, fraudsters are at an advantage because they can actually sound like their intended victim. It's pretty scary. So to illustrate this, what we need are smarter tools to defeat this type of technology. We need real-time synthetic speech detection. So I'm going to place another call into the same demo system. And instead of using my real voice, like I did for the first call, I'm going to use a synthetic version of my voice that I created. And before I do that, I'm going to walk you through how I created this voice, because I think it's really important for us to all understand just how easy it is for fraudsters to do this. So I took about a minute of audio from my Finnovate demo last year that I did at this time, and I uploaded it into a synthetic speech generator. Now, think of yourself. There's definitely at least a minute of audio out there on the internet of you, whether it's social media, your LinkedIn, perhaps you spoke at a work conference and it was published online like mine was. So all I did was upload this, and in about a minute, I had a pretty realistic sounding Rachel Minch voice. I can write a little script for her, and I can essentially make her say anything I want her to say. So let's go ahead and call into the demo environment again. Doesn't it sound a lot like my real voice? Maybe not if you had just been speaking to the real me, but pretty convincing to an agent who has never heard what I sound like. 
and very convincing to a voice authentication solution who does not have synthetic speech detection. Could you guys all hear that? Did the mic work okay? Okay, well hopefully you heard. It actually sounds a lot like me. It's pretty convincing. Um, to the human ear, it absolutely could be Rachel Minch, but hopefully you also saw it was no match for Nuance Gatekeeper, right? Within seconds, it's generated this immediate fraud alert. So not only does Nuance Gatekeeper alert you anytime there's a match to a known fraudster voice that's on a watch list, we're also gonna generate an immediate alert anytime we detect something like synthetic speech or a recording being used. I think we can all agree that businesses need to be able to reliably and securely authenticate their customers, right? They need to be able to say, yes, Rachel is Rachel, and no, Rachel is not AI-generated deepfake Rachel. So if you wanna learn more about this, if you have any questions, come see us in the demo hall. We also have a main booth in the exhibition, and we'd love to chat with you. Thanks, everyone.